G'day everyone, coming to you here from a beautiful free camp just north of north of Dubbo in New South Wales. Um, massive week last week, just want to share a couple of things with you. Um, first one is uh, um, attitude and how attitude can change the way that you farm. So just speaking to a top producer's um, client, I guess, that come down to our, or member that come down to our two-day training in Adelaide in February, um, his biggest takeaway was change your attitude. Um, and such a great quote from Wayne Dyer, he said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Um, and it's very powerful if you can if you can absorb that and understand what it means, it's uh, very, very powerful. So basically, he, his takeaways were um, himself and his family, when they, got, went, they went back to the farm for the few weeks after, between when I spoke to him and the, the Adelaide event was that the frustrations were so much less. They just they were aware of their frustrations when something didn't go right on the farm. Um, they acknowledged the frustration and then they just said, "Okay, we can take this two ways. We can um, be frustrated at it. We can get angry. Um, we can have an argument, or we can just say, you know what? What do we? How, how can we move forward? What's the best way to move forward from here?" Um, so there's so many different scenarios on the farm where frustrations pop up. Um, acknowledge it and just and ask yourself, how, what's, what's the best way to move forward from here? Um, and it was very relevant last week when um, I had a, a, a good friends drove all the way from Kimber in South Australia to Byron Bay and I made my way up to Byron Bay, picked Becky and the kids up from the Cooley Airport, um, ready for the Blues Fest at Byron. We were just camping on a farm uh, a few, a few uh, probably 20 minutes out of Byron, so we went right in Byron, um, luckily. Uh, and then the, obviously the COVID cases picked up and the Blues Fest was cancelled. Um, so a pretty big disappointment, I suppose. We were looking forward to it, but straight away with that the, the above the line attitude, um, what, how, what, do we do, what do we need to do now to, to best handle this? Um, not dwell on the fact that we've missed out on two or three days of a great festival that we're really looking forward to and driven a long way for. Um, how, how do we now go and enjoy Easter? So we, we made a few plans. Um, just let it unfold in front of us without being too frustrated. We had, it, had a great weekend. It ended up at Nelson Bay um, and had such a great Easter and it just worked out perfect. So another, that's just that relevant story on, on my behalf. Um, such a great lesson from uh, what, that, what that farmer shared with me about his, his learning from our top producers event. Um, from here, where do we go? Um, spent a couple of days, spent, just spent a few days around, or a couple of days around Dubbo with some farmers um, and Trangy. Then we make our way up towards the Warren Bungles, um, Turawena, a couple of farmers up there. We'll catch up with a couple of members um, and then we'll go west out to, uh, out to a bit of the dry country before heading up um, to Wee War into Queensland. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, I'll keep bringing you some lessons. Got a great couple of videos to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you're all well. And if you've got any questions about um, attitude and how to best handle your frustrations, um, feel free to chuck something in the comments box and, and we'll go from there. Cheers.